Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfarri.com. Today's topic is a basic concept. What do you mean by alternation of generation in plants? And how gametophyte is different from sporophyte? Let's take the fern life cycle as an example to understand this concept. As you know, ferns belongs to pteridophyte, where the dominant phase is the sporophytic phase. The plant that we see is a sporophyte and this is a plant. It is having leaf, then rhizomatous stem and roots. So this is the first phase in the life cycle. And the second phase is the gametophytic phase, which is minute and microscopic. So in ferns, there are two distinct phases. One is a sporophytic phase and the second one is a gametophytic phase. And one comes after the other. Sporophyte gives rise to gametophyte and gametophyte forms the sporophyte again. And this type of life cycle is called as alternation of generation. That is alternation of generation between sporophytic phase and gametophytic phase. Now let us see what is actually a sporophyte and a gametophyte. As you can see, sporophyte is a diploid plant where two sets of chromosome is present. In ferns, the dominant phase is the sporophytic phase. As you can see, the sporophytic phase forms spores on the underside, as in the case of ferns as sori. This is sporangia. Sporangia is a spore-bearing structure. Inside the sporangia, spore mother cells, that is a diploid cell, that undergoes meiosis, forming haploid spores. You can see the haploid spores. And these spores on germination finally forms the gametophyte. Sporophytic phase is dominant phase in higher vascular plants like pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Now let us see the gametophytic phase. And this is the gametophytic phase. Gametophytic phase as it is produced from the spores which is haploid, gametophyte is a haploid plant. It forms gametes. As you can see, this spores are produced inside sporangium that is released and finally form the gametophyte. The gametophyte of ferns is called as prothallus. The gametophyte produces sex organs. So this is haploid. So gametes are also haploid. Therefore, mitosis produces gametes. Gametes are formed inside sex organs. The male sex organ is called as the antheridium and the female sex organ is called as the archegonium. The sperm cells or male gametes that is produced by antheridium moves towards the archegonium and fuses with the egg and finally forms the zygote. Thus the diploid stage again continues. That zygote germinates to form the sporophytic plant again. In short, sporophytic diploid plants by meiosis forming haploid spores that on germination forming haploid gametophyte that produces sex organs, male and female sex organs ultimately forming male and female gametes by mitosis and these fuses to form the zygote and zygote germinates and forming the sporophyte again. That is why this is called as alternation of generation. One comes after the other. Sporophyte forms the gametophyte and gametophyte forms the sporophyte. In bryophytes, gametophyte is the dominant phase. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsfarry.com.